Hello everyone. So this is uh, my second video from Madeira, Portugal. Yesterday's video didn't get uploaded as I had issues with the internet and electrical issues as Europe uses uh, 240 volt standard. So my laptop died before I got it uploaded as I was having internet issues as well, but just got that uploaded uh, a couple minutes ago. And I got another one for you here. Some more news regarding Tesla's charging standard, the NACS. We got another company that's chosen to adopt it. And I got an article here from Electric. Let's check it out. So a headline here says, Tesla's NACS enjoys domino effect as EV charging companies adopt the standard. They got a picture highlighting the difference. This is showing to scale how different the size is between Tesla's charger and the dark black here the side view and a front view. So you can see the, the CCS standard behind it in the light gray. It's just way bigger and clunkier. Poor design in my opinion, whereas the Tesla design is nice and sleek. And then the front view there, you can see how much simpler Tesla's design is. But there seems to be some uh, effort to push this CCS standard. The battle is not over yet to decide what the standard will be for North America. But at the moment, it does seem to be the CCS standard is what's getting pushed and receiving the benefits from at least the U.S. government. So the article here, Tesla's connector, now known as the North American charging standard, is truly living up to its name as the, as the GM announcement gets the domino effect going with EV charging station companies now adopting the standard. When GM CEO Mary Barra and Tesla CEO Elon Musk announced their cooperation for General Motors to integrate NACS as the connector in its future electric vehicles, they basically declared that the connector is now the new standard in North America. They have a good argument for it, considering it is already the most popular connector thanks to how big Tesla's fleet is alone. And now with Ford and GM on board, it will be hard to stop. We expect a domino effect to take place and all other automakers and charging station companies operating in North America to announce that they will adopt NACS. It has already started with Float, a Quebec-based EV charging station company with over 90,000 chargers, announcing it will offer NACS on its charging stations and supports broader use of the standard. And there's a comment here from a Electric Reader. They say ABB just joined the train and announced NACS as an option on its chargers. Matter of time before Electric, Electrify America falls in line. So let's check that out. Uh, back to Flow. Flow Chief Product Officer Nathan Young commented on the announcement. Flow welcomes initiatives to standardize charging hardware in North America because we believe it will help eliminate confusion for electric vehicle drivers. Ultimately, the increased adoption of the NACS standard relates both to its widespread use by EV drivers and the reliability of stations that currently offer NACS. Flow is an industry leader in reliability offering a 98% plus uptime with our objective of delivering the best EV charging experience for users. We are committed to supporting the technologies and standards our drivers want to use. EVgo had announced that it will also add NACS connectors to its charging stations even before Tesla opened the standard. Now we expect other charging station companies to make similar announcements as soon as today and more to come in the coming weeks. The dominoes are falling. So I just quickly googled about the uh, other company, this ABB, which is a company that builds equipment for electric vehicle chargers. And yeah, they are, have a tweet here from yesterday morning. ABB eMobility is adding the North American charging standard as an option for our products. So more dominoes falling for sure. And regarding the flow announcement that they will add the NACS standard to their offerings. Uh, I've used flow a couple times in my early days of owning uh, my Model S on road trips across Canada. Uh, it was it was so few times though that I can't give a good review of how they worked, but I remember they did work for me. I don't I don't think they were the fastest. I think they were mid-level chargers. I remember I had to download the app. I think once I got the app, 
I might have had to identify the post I was at with a number, which was an extra step compared to the Tesla charging system. But nonetheless, this is a, a good announcement regarding Tesla's charging standard becoming potentially the standard for all vehicles in North America. And yeah, I definitely think it's the best solution uh, out there. Tesla is not messing around and they have been proven time and time again to make the best products when it comes to electric vehicles and electric vehicle charging infrastructure. So that's it for this one. Hopefully I, it uploads without a problem, which I think it will as I have power for my laptop now and a good internet connection. So hopefully no more issues going forward. I think yesterday was the first day that I, I didn't post a video. I tried to, but it didn't get uploaded. That's it for this one. My name's Evan Bertrand. This is the Evil Green channel. Give the video a like if you liked it. Subscribe by clicking on the wheel in the bottom right. And thanks for watching.